Miller, Regina Neloga. Now, starting off with day three of Parliament's NSSF probe, the members of the Select Committee of Parliament set up to inquire into the alleged mismanagement at NSSF have learned that NSSF is considering the possibility of processing a special title deed for Workers' House. The Chief Executive Officer of Uganda Retirement Benefits Authority, Martin Suvuga, told the committee that the title deed of the land on which the building was constructed was being held by Alcohol a farm that was contracted to build the workers house the MPs are concerned that even if a special title is issued to the farm it would be encumbered we have more in this report that that money is not for Ministry of gender that that money is for partnership and already I read to you that the MD has stated the chairman has stated in this correspondence that they have already been undertaking partnership with all government MDAs, and I read for you those government MDAs. So if you can go and have partnership with the police, with the URA, so what is it that makes it out there that Ministry of Gender, that is actually the one with the legal mandate, would be illegal and irregular for that? But I don't want to go through that because I've provided evidence, because in the law, we deal with points of law and evidence. These activities will be undertaken by NSSF in partnership with the relevant entities, be it government or private. The Ministry of Gender will only provide oversight and support the fund in the implementation of these activities, in line with the legal mandate that is responsible for social security. And I acted within my mandate provided under Section 29 of the NSSF Act, which gives me power to approve budget estimates of the income, capital, recurrent, and other expenditure of the fund. And specifically, 29.3 states that the minister shall, upon receipt of the annual budget or any supplementary budget, approve or disapprove the budget or may approve it subject to such amendment as he or she may deem fit. So this one is a point of law. So uh, whoever says you can run down, you can go to heaven, you can go to hell, it is a point of law. Mr. Chairman, I want to state that uh, at the moment, uh, we, we, with the regulation for voluntary, it's already, like I stated, it's already. And uh, Honorable Chair, I already insinuated and stated the fact here. Of me, I'm a minister of gender. I come and defend my budget before the Committee of Gender, Labor, and Social Development. Sometimes I don't have that. These are the people who bring for me budget. They initiate it. I call top management. We discuss it. We approve it. I carry it to parliament. But because the law says parliament appropriate. Parliament can amend, Parliament can reprioritize many circumstances. The Budget Committee has called me, Honorable Minister, you come. There is a most important thing that we want you to defend. It is not in your budget. It is not in your ministerial policy statement. Every detail that is being shared in the select uh, parliamentary committee is also being shared across our social media platforms.